For you speaking, man, how, how are you situated right now at this point in your career? How, how do you feel about your position? Just even outside the ring, man, because when we last talked, you told me that, you know, you, you were going down the, the same path you yeah. started with in the, and now you're back. Yeah, and I'm like, right now I'm kind of like, do I want to box still? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I'm still thinking about it. I'm going to go back. Why, why, I'm going to go back that, to the why gym. Why is that even a thought? Like, why is that even a thought? Why is that a question? Why, why does that come up? Because uh, I'm the type of person that... Uh, that is open to anything. There's other opportunities come my way yeah. that could take me far with my family. I'm gonna take advantage of those opportunities because yeah. opportunities don't come often yeah, yeah. and you could lose the opportunities you have now. So take advantage of the opportunities that you give, they're given to you. Sometimes you just wanna wait. If I wait on this for something to happen on this, then, yeah, yeah. then you know what I mean? My, I, I, big possibilities, you know what I mean? And there's possibilities that nothing can happen. Look how many fighters, you know, wasted so much time and they didn't do anything. There are so many fighters that did do something and they still, and they ain't nothing now, you feel me? Yeah. I just wanna be a smart person, you know, boxing. If it comes down with boxing, the opportunity plays out and uh, I'll get a big opportunity to, you know, World Championship, whatever, yeah. then let it be. And if it doesn't, then I'm still gonna keep doing me and I'm gonna keep surviving. I'm gonna keep uh, living, doing good with my family. I'm part of my life right now that I'm happy. I'm gonna spend more time with my kids and my wife than I usually do, you know, I'm more than I usually do. And uh, it's something that I'm appreciating now. And, uh, and I've been going to the gym. I'm been going to gyms to help out, you know, fellow kids. fellow kids from here from the city yeah. that are trying to box. So for instance, today I'm going to Garden Grove with my home, my little homies in the spa. He actually named me a box before. He just told me, Speedy, I want to box. Yeah. I bet you I could beat anybody up in there. I said, really? You think so? All right. So we took him to Hawaiian Garden. Nobody wanted to spar him in Hawaiian Garden. So, that, so they told him they're going to take him to the Garden Grove. I told him, what's up, man? I like that. You know, yeah, I like yeah, that. You you know that they're fighting. Like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I bet you I'll be able to get, I'll be able to put hands on him. Like, All right, I want to see. It's not as easy as it seems, but yeah, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean. He's gonna learn that it's not yeah, that easy. It's not, it's not. So I'm gonna let him get in there. I, I'm sure he's yeah. Hey, he might surprise he's gonna do his thing, but he's you gonna lose. Yeah. I've took him to go spar before yeah. one time with this dude that had been boxing for like already a year. Yeah. No fight, just been in the gym for a year. So my boy put hands on him, stopped him like in two rounds. Yeah. Ain't never boxed before. He just know how to fight, and he ain't afraid of nobody. It's a lot of things these boxers need nowadays. I don't want to be picking and choosing and you know all that gay shit. And and what do you take to the actual fight? Santa Cruz and Frampton, the rematch this Saturday, man? What, what? I hope Santa Cruz wins. Yeah, why is that? Why Santa Cruz? Why, why are you pulling for him being that he has a victory over your brother? The fans would think you would want him to lose or whatnot. I mean, that's what's wrong with all the Raza. Yeah. When another Raza fights somebody else, they choose to support the other guy instead of supporting your own people. Just because he beat my brother. I'm not gonna push still at the end of the day, he's Mexican, he's fighting somebody and I'm supporting him and I want him to win. Come 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 fight night when he if he does happen to fight my brother again, then I'm all against him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I ain't liking him when he fights my brother, you know what I'm saying? I ain't feeling him and or his team when he fights my brother, but that's just part of the game. But right now he's a he's another another Rasa, another Mexican fighter, you know, trying to become a world champion again and you know I'm gonna support him on that. Mikey Garcia, man, your stable mate now. He's set to fight a Dijon Slatinian. I think that's how you pronounce his name. For the WBC title. What do you expect from Mikey, man, on Saturday? Mikey to do what he knows how to do best. Knock yeah. motherfuckers out. And, uh, <laughs> he's a good fighter, man. Mikey, yeah. smart fighter. Uh, uh, Did you spar him or anything? No, or? I knew. I never got to spar him. Yeah. I, I never got to spar him. I wanted to. You know, I wish I would have had that, uh, that experience to, you yeah. know, to spar somebody like Mikey. Uh, but Mikey, I see, you know, I followed him, I followed him throughout his whole career, he's a good fighter, he's a smart fighter, he knows what he could bring to the table, you know what I like about Mike, his confidence, man, that guy, that makes him, you could be a real good fighter, but if you don't have the confidence, you're not gonna be able to, uh, be able to show any of that, yeah. because you don't have the confidence to do it, but Mikey has the confidence, he knows how good he is, yeah. and that's how, Good, you hear me? Like he says, the best is yet to come. The best yeah. is yet, he knows it, like, and you could see it, you know what I mean? I, I focus when people talk and you look at somebody's eyes and you look at the series, he's not playing, he's for real. That's what I like about him. Like, that's what have you learned being around him in the gym? What separates him from, <laughs> you've been around a lot of great fighters and trainers, but what you say separates him from the others and what have you learned from him? I, 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 I love him. You know what, we uh worked out at different times but there was a plenty of times that we you know we were at the gym yeah. at the gym together and you know what i liked about my he's quiet yeah. 
This is the one you gotta watch out with, man. These are the killers, man. You gotta be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll talk, he'll talk, he'll talk, you know what I mean? But he's very quiet, he's very quiet, he's calm, he observes. He observes, he observes you. He like I don't know if he's like doing like a He's breaking reading down you, mentally, like reading like, you. Down. Yeah, cause he, he, yeah. he I, I noticed that. You know what I mean? I noticed that about him. He's quiet. He, you know, he watches you before he even even initiates a conversation with you. Yeah. And that's a smart person. He's just probably watching who, who he's gonna conversate, who's gonna talk to. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want him to just be talking to anybody. So what's next for you, man? What, what can the fans look forward to? Hmm. March. March. I'll be fighting in March. I just actually spoke with my brother. I got off the line with him and uh, to tell me to come back Monday. He said Monday we're gonna start. I'm not my ass was short. Guys know that I ain't mean, you know I mean? Everybody's like, what's up with speed? He's uh see at 146, spoke to champ. And um you know, he's just telling me I gotta get back. Why was telling me when am I gonna be back in the gym? So you know, I just been chilling, enjoying my family time, but uh I'm looking forward um looking forward to fight back in March. Get back you get that title shot, man. Shit, whenever they give it to me. I don't <laughs> whatever. Tell me right now, I'm going back right now. We're starting from scratch and we're getting that. What do you take to your brothers? This is your fourth world title. Robert Garcia's 10th world title. Uh, your reaction, man. I saw him and then I see brother. Hell yeah. This is my first time out of, this, out of all four world titles. My first time I, uh, I get to see my brother become world champion in life. You know, be there with him. So, I mean, yeah. Never take that away. No one can ever take that away from me. You know what I'm saying? Would you tell them when you guys headed back to the, to the to the room? Would you tell them? I knew. It. I told them. I told you. I told you. you I told. I told her. Like I remember. I told you. Yeah, like wow, you guys gonna be surprised? Yeah. I knew. I know what my brother could bring to the table. I know what he got. I know his skill, <laughs> and I know what he, what he hides. Yeah. He hides a lot of talent. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think that is? What do you think? Comfortable. You get comfortable, and sometimes you know. I don't know, it just becomes, you know, I don't know, I guess he, he, don't, he gets, he gets, uh, not only that, I and mean, then you get tired of it too. You get tired of it, a lot of boxers get tired of it, there's a lot of boxers that, uh, do you think had things gone differently, like maybe he hadn't won, could have, do you think, did, did you feel that he was closer to maybe retirement? Do nah. Do you think Robert kind of like, no, how he, much of a role did Robert play in that? A lot, a lot, Robert had a lot to do with it, Robert uh, had the experience of a trainer to bring out the best in Abner, to, to be the trainer, to allow, uh, to, for Abner to allow him to be the trainer, you know? To actually listen to him, follow instructions. He needed that type of motivation. Probably believed in, more than, believed in him since he stepped in the gym, so, I mean, it's not, a lot of people think because, uh, because they're doing combinations of uh, 100 punches like other coaches do, they oh, he's learning, he's a different admin. No, it's not even about that. It's about sitting down with him and telling him, you know what, you're standing wrong. We're going to start from there. We're going to do it right. You're not using your jab. We're going to basics. Abner already has the experience. Abner has everything. He just needs to go back to basics and, you know, and, and get back back to work. Carter Squad, as many have a good relationship with him. Last question. What do you take to him, man? Looks like Cholito took a different route. Cholito's yeah, scared. But he's scared? You think he's scared, man? I mean, why, he wants why to say that he wants this much money. Come yeah. on, though. You know, he do, he's afraid. Yeah. He's afraid. How can you be afraid? He doesn't have the. He's, he's not number that, one okay, According to these boxing magazines, experts and magazines, magazines that I'm Rafael sure they never Rafael. has. That was done, Rafael ever a boxer? No, How the fuck does he know? I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, pound for pound, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, he could take it with Don Rafael or Don Colion or whatever his name is. He could take it how he wanted, but I mean, my opinion, right? Every, everybody in this world is entitled to their own opinion and to whatever they feel like. I feel like he's not the best pound for pound. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. People take it how you want. I'm entitled to my opinion. Pound for pound, number one, Alan Rodgers, of course. What else am I going to say, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. And, um... No, but I mean, there's other good fighters out there. I mean, they got Lomachenko, they got Guillermo Rigondeaux. I mean, <clears throat> they might, I mean, Rigondeaux might not bring a lot of people, you know, he might not have a lot of followers, not big band, but he's a very he's a good, fighter, he's a great man. fighter, great yeah. fighter. Lomachenko's a great fighter. I'm taking nothing from him, you know, it's very, very good. Do you think that fight will happen eventually? Well, with Cuadras? Yeah, with Chorita and Cuadras. Um, if they give the money he's asking for, you know, in a way, it's smart, I understand. But in a way, it shows that he's also, he doesn't have the same confidence that he did when he first took that fight. Yeah. When he first took that fight, I'm sure he took it like, yeah, well, I'm going to yeah. take that title, I'll take it. Yeah. But he knew, but he seen what Quadras brought to bring to the table. Yeah. Now, Quadras, his confidence, yeah. now is going to be, yeah. his, he went in there with, you know, a little bit of respect. They both did. Yeah, yeah. 
But I was expecting for Chocolatito to have less respect for Cuadras, knowing that he's the pound for pound king. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. But he's a good fighter, though. I mean, he's world champion for some, right? Definitely. You mentioned Lomachenko, Reagan Dogs, man. That's question, team scenario, what happens in that matchup, man? What, what do you say to it? Oh, I don't know, it's a fucking, it'll be a badass fight, man. We he fuck said, it. Yeah. Let's see who's just fucking doesn't. But we, it depends on both. Whoever blinks first from both of them is gonna get hit first because they're both fucking. They're both on it, man. They're both good, great nice fighters. Tell the fans where to follow you. Speedy Mares underscore. Speedy underscore Mares 87 on Instagram. Speedy, Adan Speedy Mares on Facebook. That's it.